right, so I've got another example here. How many cubic centimeters are there in four quarts? So this one's even worded a little bit differently than the ones that we've already done. Um, usually they say convert this to that. Uh, but a cubic centimeter is actually another measure of volume. So it's just what I said. It's a, a, cubi a cubic centimeter, right? It's one centimeter cube. Um, <coughs> so it's just a, another way to measure volume. Um, and we want to convert, we, wa we have four quarts, and we want to find out how many cubic centimeters there are. So we want to take our four quarts, and we want to know how many, and cubic centimeters, as you can see from the chart, we write cm for centimeters and then to the third power. All right, so we want, we, we want to figure out how many cubic centimeters we have. So we're converting from quarts to cubic centimeters. Um, and so I look at my little chart, my little conversion chart, and I, I see, I see a couple of things. Um, cubic centimeters, that's kind of weird, but um, it's actually not too bad because one cubic centimeter is the same thing as one milliliter. It's kind of just another way to say a milliliter. So <coughs> one cubic centimeter is the same thing as a milliliter. How many milliliters are there, in, or how many uh, liters are there in a milliliter? Well, we know from our met work with the metric system, one milliliter is the same, we pull up that chart, right? One milliliter is the same as 10 to the minus one liters. I know that. I might need it, I might not. Um, all right. But then I need to know about quarts. So if I look at my chart, do I have a conversion for, or do I have an equivalence in there somewhere for quarts? Well, of course we do. Um, the one that we want, right, we see we have a conversion between liters and quarts. So I know that one liter is the same thing as 1.06 quarts. All right. So I have a, a relationship between cubic centimeters and milliliters, and I have a relationship between liters and quarts. So all I need to link that is a, le a relationship between milliliters and liters, and I, and, I have, and I have it. All right, so I have four quarts, and I want to get to cubic centimeters. So I'm going to write down my four quarts, okay? Now I want to uh, I want to end up with cubic centimeters. So I can see I can go from quarts to liters. All right. So if I look at this guy, what do I? If I want to go from quarts to liters, what do I want to have on the top and what do I want to have on the bottom? Well, I want to go to liters. So I want my liters in the top, right? And I want my quarts in the bottom. So again, we could, we could divide on both sides by 1.06 quarts and we would get some, you know, we get a fraction that's equivalent to 1. It's a little weird to think about because it's a, they're units, but it's still equivalent to 1. All right, so I can multiply this guy together and that's going to give me liters, okay? So my quarts are going to cancel and I get 4 liters over 1.06. Um, my quarts canceled out just like I wanted. You could write this over one if that helps you deal with the fractions a little bit better. All right, so I, I want a number here. Um, so I'm going to divide 4 by 1.06 so I can just get one nice number. Um, and if I, if I do that, what do I end up with? It's a really ugly decimal. 3.77 three, five, eight, four, nine, um, and I have liters, okay, still. All right, whoa, okay, so what do I do with that? Am I done? No, I need to con con finish out, because I'm trying to get to, remember, I'm trying to get to cubic, cubic centimeter, or cubic centimeters, so I see I've got cubic centimeters to milliliters, and I have liters. So now I need to take my liters to milliliters. So I see I've got 
one milliliter is the same thing as 10 to the minus 1 liters, not 10, excuse me, sorry, this should be 10 to the minus 3 milli for 1,000. Excuse me. So one milliliter is equal to 10 to the minus 3 liters. Was that confusing you the whole time? You were thinking about that the whole time I was talking? Um, yeah, so one milliliter is the same thing as 10 to the minus 3 liters. So I want the liters to cancel out. So I want the liters in the bottom, and I want the milliliters in the top. So I'm going to multiply by liters in the bottom, 10 to the minus 3. Right? I take this guy and divide on both sides by 10 to the minus 3. I get one milliliter is 10 to the minus 3 liters equals 1. Okay. Okay. And so now I've got my liters canceled out. And so 10 to the minus 3, right? I don't like that in the bottom. I want to simplify this. So I'm going to move that guy to the top of the fraction. So I have 3.7735. 8, 4, 9, and it keeps going, I round it, um, times 10 to the positive 3, right? When we take a negative exponent and move it to the top of our fraction, we, it becomes positive, and we have milliliters. Okay. 10 to the third is 1,000, but do you recognize this? This is like our scientific notation, right? So if we just move our decimal 1, 2, 3 places, right, we'd have... We'd have done the one, two, three, so it should be behind the three. We would have done the math. Um, <coughs> all right. So now we're almost done. Now we have to go from milliliters to cubic centimeters. All right. So it is, this one's not bad. It's, it's one cubic milliliter to one cubic centimeter. Basically, they're equivalent to each other. Um, but you could, you could go through the process of writing the conversion factor, right, just for practice. So um, for this guy, if we divide it on both sides by, right, we want the cubic centimeters in the top because that's where we're trying to go. They are equivalent to each other. So our milliliters are going to cancel, and we're going to be left with 3,773.5849. And that is what we would do. So sometimes you have to string, do several conversions to get to where you want to go. Uh, I would say just look at that chart and try to pick out the ones that relate and then see what you need to fill in. So we know cent cubic centimeters related to milliliters, and we know we could relate quarts to liters, right? We're starting with quarts. We want to convert that to, usually you wanna, if you're going between uh, metric and non-metric, you want to take and find something that will convert your non-metric thing or your metric thing to the, to the other system, and then you can convert to where you need to go from there. So that is... Uh, that is the last example I have for this section, so give the homework a shot.